Hello there YouTube people. You can see right now I'm playing Battlefield Bad Company 2. Playing on White Pass. We're also playing Rock. Now, some of you may think, Meizu, why are you showing us this? How is this a tutorial video? Should be told this is actually my server and I'm playing on unranked and without Punk Buster. So, once you have established that this is my server, after which, like after this bomb blows up, I'm gonna get out to show you all. I'm also gonna show you how to host your own servers, how to change your own maps, how to do your server commands, xx and such and such and such. This guy deserves an RPG to the face by the way. <laughs> nah, not really. But, I was gonna die. So why don't we get back to the menu and I can start explaining what's going on. Now that we're back to the menu, I would like to actually show you that this is no scam, this is all true, this is all um, non-scam, you can see the first server which pops up because I sorted them by ping. Is my server Mizu, which is not ranked, not Punk Buster, we're playing on White Pass Rush, so basically this is the same server. Now, you can't add it to favorites like your server and such, but if you sort them by pink, you can actually uh, see which ones are... Like, which one is yours, because you can host multiple servers depending on how strong your rig is. So, why don't we take this to the desktop. Alright, here's the real deal. Greetings there, you two people. This is the Bat Company 2 server right now. You can see it's not quite accurate as it says there's 17 players playing on it while well, we just saw it was only 9. And memory usage is currently 212 megabytes. So please note, the more people that are playing on it, including yourself, is going to make it harder for your PC to run nicer and your server might start to lag. You can see this is actually the real console commands here. Um, these ones, I'm going to include them in the description. This is what, bas this is what you basically need if you want to set up your server or you can customize those as well you can see um, there are, there's some people joining and because because the because the server is not running they basically get every, everything unlocked now I've recently found this dedicated server setup tutorial and um, I'm, I, I'm gonna include that in the video description but I've also saved it to a little file here you can see this txt so here are the map names um, because they're going with code names like MP1, MP2 and this is in Battlefield 3 you can't play every map on every game mode here so you gotta keep in notice which map is which. Now you can see let's say um, Panama Canal MP001 can be played on Conquest and um, no not this one. This is Conquest and you can see it's not in Rush but it's in Squad Rush and it's not in Squad Deathmatch either so Keep in notice, you can't actually play every map on every game mode, so you need to remember which ones are which. I'm going to include this little thing here in the description, so let's first get started. When we go to the Bad Company 2 folder, you can see that... Hold on. Okay. I'm going to have to close the server, sadly for all the little fellas there. The server is going to have to go down. Alright, so this is basically the Bad Company 2 folder. You can see there's the start server.bat which is also included in the RAR I previously included in my previous video. That's a lot of previouses, but I'm going to include it in this video as well. And if you click on right click and edit, you're going to see these are some commands here that you need to know. First thing, you should leave this here, this whole line, just like that. Don't customize anything because it's going to screw your server up. Map Pack 2 enabled, okay, it is enabled, and the port this has to be port forwarded if you want to be able to host so like I mentioned in previous videos I can't actually port forward I'm, uh, I'm running on a DSL direct cable connection so I can't really access my IP and I can't really show you how to do it but look up another tutorial port forward this this must be ported if you want to be a host now timestamp log names this is basically if your server is running you can see who's joining who's leaving and such yeah leave that on Region OC, this doesn't seem to do anything. Region OC, this means o Oceania. I okay, whatever, it's, it means something basically. Um, heartbeat interval, this is between how many milliseconds should the server send information back to the dedicated server. So if you want to customize all that, that's pretty cool and dandy, but my advice is don't do it. Now you can see there's a lot of folders here, you probably don't know what to do here, but um, the things you need to know are in instance, this is actually your server files right now, you can see there's server options not any, and once you customize this, always leave the options, by the way, if you remove this, it's on, it's, the server is not going to read it properly, let's name it MDG Tutorial, for the purpose of this video, up until now it's been reason, you can see the port is still the same, it's in port forwarded, 
This is the remote admin port. Um, I recommend you set this to your own port, which not not exactly. I can't exactly explain that. Just leave it at that. Um, remote admin password. I'm not yet sure how you can log in, and you know when you log in, you can kick, you can change maps and such. Once I find a way to do it, I'm gonna include it in the video description. Pungbuster in ranked. Please make sure those are false. Remember, only unranked and non-pungbuster players can play with the pirated version of the game. Otherwise, it's supposed to be a gen. You can see the server clan slots. I set this to 24 because if you set it to 32 and your PC is not good enough, you might not be able to run it. Uh, you can also see there are a lot of other stuff here, but you don't really need those um, for the sake of this tutorial. Like I said, I'm going to save this. Now, some things you might want to know is, this actually I customized it, when you right click and go to properties, it's usually going to have read only enabled. Now you want to disable that, because once you enable it, you can't actually save this, and, hold on, let me just remove that, you can't really save it, you see, just save, however, if I click on properties, read only, okay, and if I do something in it, like, so, I want to save it, okay, that's cool, but if I want to close it, it's going to tell me save, and then it's going to open a whole new list, because, you can save it. Basically it's a read only so you can only make copies of it. Ban list this is pretty much self explanatory. You can make those people banned or whatever not and you can see permanent bans. Uh, this this GYID you can actually see it in the console I believe. However right here is just an example. Um, ban for not being good sport and such. These are the messages you can give them why are you banned? So let's say you, have, you wanted to ban something and then the next day you host again you wants to join, you can say, oh, sorry you're banned for not being a good sport man, you were using RPG to the face just like me in the video 10 seconds ago. And yeah, or you can just, you know, ban this guy and say, cool off for a bit please, and then you can unban him later. Because you can also set seconds ban. Alright, so these are the IDs, remember? Alright, reserve slot list, right here you can see, um, I actually forgot to change this, hold on. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now, first up, I would like to reserve a slot for myself, which means that if the server is full and I want to join, one random player, I believe the last joiner will get kicked, and I can join in. It's a bit selfish, I know, but I host the server, so I make the rules. Now, these two, you don't really want to touch with these. Only this one, probably. You can see over here, all these, uh, all these lines that start with a number, you don't want to touch those, because those are just explanations. Look for those who don't have a number in front of them. Those are commands that you can parse hardcore false. Let's say you want to make your server hardcore, you just change this to true. For the sake of this tutorial, I would do it. Turn on friendly fire, you wouldn't really want to do that, but since it's hardcore, we'll just enable it. Out of balance teams, yes, you really want that. Kill cam, yes or no, you know, true, again. Turn the minimap on or off, since it's hardcore, we should say false and turn the crosshair on and off again since it's hardcore false turn 3d spotting it's hardcore so false now wait it is true and the minimap spotting is false on hardcore okay so this is basically gonna read the when you start a server it's gonna read firstly this then this and then all this stuff so when we go back to this text document you can see um, hold on let me just reposition those okay so let's say you want to play on Rush, okay? You gotta include this as a first Rush, like so. And then let's see which servers are capable of running Rush. Well, it appears that MP002, which is Valparaiso, one of my favorite maps, is capable of doing it. So just click enter and insert the new line. And I believe you also have to add an R after it. <coughs> Alright. So, I'm not really sure, um, I mean, so basically all the rush maps have this GR after the map name, uh, I mean the code of course, not the name, and you can see they're actually set for everything, and you can also customize those to not forget, like so, and those to conquest, and those to, those don't even matter, I just made a mistake there, but whatever. And you can see the squad death matches SDM, the squad rush is R, uh, SR, and this is GR, I believe it's global rush, because it's a full map. And conquest is the CQ, so we want to play on Vaporiso, okay, just exit that and save it. And we'll also exit that and save this as well. Okay, 
So you can see this has pretty much been about it. And you can see the these people, um, the the host of the whole emulator nexus actually explain it. Well for now I believe this has been enough. Let's go ahead and try it out. Start server. Alright. And you can see here's the server. Oh the server name is MDG tutorial internal port and all that. Now it's gonna load everything up like I told it to. So I'm now gonna start the game. Right you two people I skipped you the you know the big boring screen of logging in and such so we're just back to the server browser right now you can see MDG tutorial um, rush players ping everything only one problem I can see here is Islo Innocent is the map um, pretty much sure we said Valparaiso my favorite map but um, it might be the server not reading the files correctly or it just might be that the guys at emulator nexus got the maps wrong uh, I'm gonna experiment later with it and I'm gonna update you to it probably it's on probably it's probably an error on my end but I'm just gonna go ahead for it and you can see it's unranked non punk buster and it's also got hardcore so let's go ahead and join in greetings there you two people I take the liberty of restarting a server not changing any other settings and it appears that the map is still is in the sentence which means that the map names are actually got it wrong I'm gonna try to investigate this and give you the correct names for every map, but until then it might take a couple of days. So right now we're loading Isla Rosendas on Rush, Hardcore, Unranked and non pug Buster. So as you can see it might take a while because my computer is not really the fastest of them and... Yeah. Also you can see the settings over here exactly as we set them, no crosshair, no, no uh, minimap and such. And I'm just gonna enter the battle. It appears that two more people have joined the server and it's hardcore alright. So yeah. Right now we're playing on my server and believe me, unranked and non pung buster servers appear to be quite popular these days. At least in my speculations. But, um, so far I can see that guy going on there. You don't jump! Jump! <laughs> Alright, well, it's been pretty much about it. I'm gonna leave the server for about an hour or so so people can still enjoy it because, yeah, it's pretty much about it. So let's take it back to the desktop. Alright, now we're back to the desktop. I would really, I would really like to appreciate uh, any like, comment, favorite, and such for this video because. Now it's been a bit of bother for me making all these videos before but now that I got some spare time it's cool and all. And I hope you guys actually enjoyed this tutorial because you're going to be able to host your own servers and play in ranked and with more pirated people I guess. So I'm really glad I could help a lot of people out. Um, if we go back to the Bad Company 2 folder by the way, you can see one more thing I wanted to mention is you can actually play on your own server even if Punk Buster is enabled and it's ranked and such, you know, the two forbidden rules of this game you can play on it with lots of other people who actually own the game and use this emulator and in general you can play on a couple of punk buster and ranked servers at least in my speculations it's all about random and it sometimes kicks you and sometimes not I don't know thing is so if you want to play with your friends remember to set those off and it's, be, it's been really great making this tutorial also remember to add your friends names in the reserved loss list Slots list, and it's been about it, I guess. It's been easy to win. Signing out. Be <laughs>